Hello dear students, in today's video, I'll explain about experimental determination of elevation and boiling point. Okay, we will use Langberger's method for this determination of elevation and boiling point. So what does this Langberger's apparatus consist of? You can clearly observe this. There is a boiling flask, okay, boiling flask which is heated from the down by using Bunsen burner. Along with this, you can observe a delivery tube. This boiling flask consists of pure solvent. So whenever we are heating pure solvent, we'll get some vapors. Those vapors will be passed from this container to another through delivery tube. Okay. So now you can observe this. There is a second tube which is called boiling tube 2. Otherwise, it is also called as a graduated tube. Which is also consists of solvent in the beginning. Okay. So th this is fitted with uh, Beckman's thermometer to record the temperature. And you can observe there is a small hole in this graduated tube which is uh, acting as a connection between this hot vapor jacket and this uh, graduated tube. So now you can see down this uh, graduated tube or hot vapor jacket is connected to the particular condenser to cool the vapors. This hot vapor jacket maintains the temperature here. So now let us see the procedure. The pure solvent in the boiling, uh, boiling flask is heated and it is connected to a graduated tube by means of a delivery tube. So beginning we will heat the pure solvent. Whenever we are heating the pure solvent, the vapors will be generated. Those vapors will be passed from this container to the next container by the delivery tube. Okay. So now what happens whenever boiling vapors are passed to this container, this vapors condensed here. Through the process of latent heat of condensation, they raises the temperature of this particular solvent. So what happens because of this boiling vapors of the pure solvent here, the temperature of this particular solvent in this container rises and the solvent also converts into vapors. At that particular point, the boiling point will be recorded by using this temperature uh, thermometer. So that temperature will be considered as the T1 degree centigrade. Okay, that is the steady temperature of the pure solvent. So next time what we will do, same process will be repeated by taking the solution here. That means in this solvent, I will add a non-volatile solute and I will repeat the process. What I will do, again I will heat this uh, pure solvent. Again, a, a vapors will be generated. Those vapors will be passed from this container to this container through the delivery tube. Again, this vapors boils this particular solution. This particular solution and this solution converts into vapors at particular temperature. That particular temperature is recorded and noted as T2 degrees centigrade. And we already know that solution's boiling point is more when compared to solvent boiling point. I told you that solution consists of both solute and solvent. In order to break the forces, attractive forces between the solute and solvent, we require more temperature. Hence, because of that reason, the boiling point will be increased. Okay. So, by taking these differences between T2 and T1 degrees centigrade, we will uh, calculate the elevation in boiling point. That means always the solution temperature is more when compared to solvent's temperature. So, T2 minus T1 degrees centigrade is considered here. Okay. Through this way, we will calculate the elevation and boiling point by the experimental method. Okay, thank you so much for watching.